Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I wanted to just talk a little bit to you guys about a certain topic that's been on my mind recently. And that's just basically, I wanted to share with you guys why I think EVE Online is not a pay to win game. Uh, I just want to be clear that this is my opinion, okay? And it can also differ a lot to what you actually consider to be pay to win. But I definitely don't think that EVE Online is a pay to win game. Because there are many mechanics in EVE Online that can make it seem pay to win. But in actuality, I do not at all think that it's a pay, a pay to win game. And really, it's just a way to splash cash and uh, have some horrible uh, loss mails if you want to go the quote-unquote pay to win route in this game. So basically, the way that this whole pay to win concept stems a lot from is that it is the Plex system. The Plex system is that you have like these Plex right here and you can actually buy these with real money. So you can maybe buy like I don't know, 500 of these, I think for 20 euros or something like that, or 25 dollars, it depends a little bit, but I think it's 20 dollars and 20 euros or 15 euros, something like that. But the point is you can buy these right here with real money. Then you can go on the market and what can you do? Yes, you can sell these. You can sell these for uh, in-game money. And essentially then you can get the, you use this money then to buy stuff. So for example, the ship I've got right here, this the whole fit and everything is quite expensive ship it costs 3.1 billion uh so you could use that then to just like you know pay real money and buy the stuff in here now that would say oh no it's pay to win you can buy the stuff in the game well the thing is i don't actually think it puts you at a significant advantage of being able to buy stuff uh because the thing is you need to have a lot of money to be able to fly this to the degree that I'm able to fly this. So, for example, if you were to just buy this straight up, okay, I'm going to buy this with the real money. Well, then you have to have also the skills to be able to fly it. So that will take a long time to train as well. You'll be flying this a lot worse than me if you don't have the skills. However, you can actually buy skills with real money too. You can then use this ISK to buy something called large skill injectors. Well, the thing is, still though, if you buy this, these have diminishing returns because, so for example, me right here, I've got 114 million skill points. Uh, now, if I were to buy a skill injector, it would cost then, it would give me 150,000 skill points. If we look here, 150,000 skill points. But if you have low SP, like say here, below the 5 million, then you'll get 500,000 SP. And the point is that this gives you, this 150,000 is not at all particularly a high amount. You're going to have to use so many of these to be able to get the good skills that you would need to be able to fly this uh, golem right here. Uh, but if you were to, like, say, be a brand new player, then it'll be easier. But the thing is that these are very expensive. You'd have to use so much more money than it would cost on to actually buy this, to fly this ship actually decently. So the point is that it's not as simple as I'm trying to make, is that it's not as simple as just, you know, paying a money, get the ship, and then, wow, I'm so good. You have to also be able to fly it well in terms of like in-game skills. But still, it's not just only skills that I mean that you need to be able to fly this well. You need to have a lot of in-game knowledge to be able to fly this well. You need to understand how shield boosting works. You need to understand how uh, the weapon systems work. But most of all, you need to have a general understanding of all the different ships you can encounter in the game. For example, I could potentially just take this to low sec, or wreck a bunch of scrubs. But the thing is, I need to know what kind of ships I can engage and I can't engage. Because even though this, for example, this ship right here is a very big ship in terms of its price, it still can't kill everything. There's still always going to be bigger fish in the sea. Uh, for example, someone could just warp in a carrier or even something like a dreadnought. And they would just be able to wreck my face real quick, real fast. And it'll be a real uh, quick loss mail and all that money down the drain, as well as the real money I spent on it. Uh, the thing is, that's one thing that's quite good in EVE Online, but it's also one thing that makes the game quite hard as well, is that the stuff you lose is lost. Like, you can't get that stuff back unless you pick up some of the loot, but even then, a lot of that will be destroyed. So you do actually lose it. So it will be, like, say, I don't know, you would use maybe like... $50 or something like that to buy this ship if you were to get it with Plex. If you lose it, oh, that would be $50 down the drain. Like 50 real money loss. It's not like, okay, you want to keep it there and you'll be staying there. You actually have to know how to fly this to use this to the degree that you can actually like do some significant influence on other people. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that you really need to know a lot of knowledge to be able to fly it well. Well, then I guess, yeah, you could say that, okay, if I have a lot of knowledge and I have a lot of SP, and I buy this ship with real money, then it's paid to win. But the thing is, I don't really consider that to be paid to win. 
I don't consider that to be pain to win. And I feel like this whole concept, I see a lot of it being talked about on the EVE Online Reddit with, oh, is EVE Online pay to win or is EVE Online pay not pay to win? I think it depends a lot on what you actually consider to be pay to win. Because from just like a pure, like literal interpretation of the concept of pay to win, then yeah, okay, I guess it would be pay to win because you pay to get the ship. But is it actually to win though? Do you pay and then win? Because that's why I don't think this is the case. Just because you pay money and get a good ship doesn't mean you automatically win. You need to actually be able to, you know, do stuff with it and actually win then. And that's where I think that it is completely this whole pay to win concept falls apart. I don't think you are at all able to win just because you're able to get one singular really good ship. In fact, forget this Marauder over here, this Golem. I could maybe pay enough Plex, hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get an Avatar that is worth much more than a Golem. Or even forget an avatar, say a Moloch. A Moloch is worth even more. Now this is not even have a price because this is worth so much. But if we go here and look on the material cost, we can get a sort of understanding of this. So if we go in industry and click on avatar blueprint, and then we buy it all here. It would cost a lot more than this, but a lot of these items are not even in the market right here. But you can see here. It's getting a very expensive price, and this will be a lot more than this, not just 44 billion. But the point is, these are very expensive stuff. And even more than this would be something like an 80 ship. An 80 ship is an even more rarer ship than a Titan. It's like a ship that you can only get from these particular tournaments as a special prize. You can't get anywhere else. So an example would be, for example, this Cremoas right here. These can be worth quite a lot. And then, in fact, there are some of these that can be found in the, not this particular ship, but there's a certain 80 ships you can actually find in contracts. So if we try to see if we can find this in the contracts, you can see here, there is this one right here. Now you can see 165 billion isk for this one little ship right here. This is just one little frigate. And this could easily be killed by like a gang of ships that maybe were uh, like a one hundredth of the price or even one thousandth of the price like it the thing is in eve it's whole the whole thing with eve is it's like it's a sandbox you've got so many different players and so many different like opportunities to create certain circumstances so you can for example bait someone out and make keep someone in place and then warp in all your friends and just wreck this one guy who's got a really expensive ship so for example let's say take the titan as an example these are really expensive and also really powerful ships but you can go around with dread fleets like fleets of dreadnoughts um, and then catch them by surprise and just nuke one of these titans and with for a fraction of the cost like the thing is in eve you have like if you can group up and have a well coordinated attack by a bunch of people you can really counter all these quote unquote pay to win ships or really expensive ships the same thing goes for these 80 ships like if you really uh, use a proper ship that counters a certain ship then you can easily kill a ship that's worth a hundred times or not maybe not so so easily but you can definitely most definitely you can kill a ship that's worth 100 times more than your own ship if you use the proper counter like there's many counters in Neve online especially when it comes to like destroyers they are often really good at killing not all the time but often they're really good at for example killing like small frigates and small frigates can be very expensive if you blink them enough a basic destroyer can often kill them if they use the right type of destroyer and catch them in the right opportunity and a really good example of this is actually the this guy right here there's this uh, this was actually a little bit of a throwback to 2018 but this was something i was thinking about this morning was that this Kremoas right here the 80 ship i showed you not long ago this one right here not the hydra not this one but the different one. this one here look how much this is worth 200 billion isk billion isk not million 200 billion isk worth of ship and also a ton of modules are worth a lot. He dropped even 1.3 billion for this guy to pick up. But he killed him in a basic Algos destroyer. He caught him somehow. I don't know how he caught him. But he somehow caught him and managed to kill him. Uh, if we see here his loss right here. This is like probably the ship or similar ship that he was using before. It could be something else as well. Uh, if we maybe look somewhere what ship that he was using previously like it could be maybe he was using this ship right here could be this beam algos he's using right here look how much this ship cost right here 14 million 14 million he used to kill a ship that was worth 200 billion so it just goes to show that you can't there's always like sort of counters in the game I, okay maybe this guy now here 
he was gone now the the guy who died in the really expensive ship he maybe was not having the best fit many people criticize his fit that it was not optimal for pvp uh, and then some other people say that maybe you know he was piloting bad as well this is what i'm saying there are a lot of factors that come into play how you fit your ship how you pilot your ship but most of all there's a lot of counters for certain ship types in the game as well so you can't just think that just because you spend a lot of money on a ship, you're going to just automatically wreck everyone. That's not what it is. And that's why I don't think EVE Online is a pay to win game. I don't think you necessarily win by paying a lot of money. And especially in my opinion, I think that you in some ways lose. I don't think that it's a good feeling of progressing in a game by just paying money. I feel like it kind of takes away from the experience and it definitely doesn't feel like I'm winning if I were to pay a lot of real money. I have spent money on EVE Online. It's mainly for subscription and for some few of these Plex offers, but there are more like certain cases just because I felt like it was worth it. Otherwise, just spending money to just get the best ship you can possibly get, I really don't think that it's winning. And in some ways, it feels like losing in my opinion because it sort of takes away the satisfaction of grinding your way up to the very top or sort of the top of the tier ones uh, types of ships and even then there's always counters like there's always counters to the titan there's counters even to my golem right here but a few like i use this occasionally in higher sec to do like certain types of pve activities if people were to warp in i don't know say 20 of these tornadoes i see a tornado this ship right here cost 75 million yeah add a bit of fitting onto it cost about 100 150 million a 10 of 10 20 of these guys would easily be able to now that 10 20 of them would probably be the same value of my ship so maybe it wouldn't be worth it but there would be e maybe even 15 of them would be able to easily just one shot this ship because they have got like a really high alpha damage they can do a big like volley instantly so they can easily just volley my ship like that if they have a well enough coordinated attack so what I mean is that there's always something out there that can get you and there's almost always some counter to something. You can have something that's really good at something but then there's always someone who can get you and then there's always someone that can get that one. There's never really a best of all and that's something I think that's really cool about EVE Online that there's always different like uh, you have to always be sort of on your toes. You can't just be like oh I'm just going to wreck everyone and that's no, there's nothing there that can get me. It's, a, it's a, That's what something I think that makes EVE Online a very special game because you can't really expect to just win everything by spending a lot of money. Uh, it's just the way it is, just the way it is. You can progress and get stuff in EVE Online by uh, paying money, but in my opinion, that's not winning, and you definitely can't win or beat everyone by just spending a lot of money. There's always going to be people out there to get you. And one thing that is also worthy to mention is that if you spend a lot of money on these expensive ships, it's going to be more likely that people are going to be out there trying to get you. EVE Online is a PvP game. Everyone can kill you everywhere. Even in high sec, if you can gank people with like, for example, tornadoes, like I mentioned before. Uh, if I were to run around with this in low sec, people are going to be like, wow, Golem, let's get him because they would want to get a kill on a really expensive ship, you know, potentially get my loot, potentially get a Bragging rights in itself is a really big reason to attack people. That oh look, I killed this really expensive ship. So all the local people are gonna, if they see you on the scan and call them, they're gonna be probably thinking, oh let's gather a big fleet and just wreck him. Uh, it's just uh, it increases the risk as well. You go around. So not only are you are there potential counters out there, but you're also painting a big target on your own face, saying please attack me. I've got a really expensive ship as well. So there's a lot more risk as well associated with carrying out really expensive stuff too. So that's it. I don't think you can win by paying money. You definitely can like buy certain things with real money. And in certain ways, I like that because you have the opportunity to like buy some like tedious things if you don't want to get through some grind, especially if you're like making an alt or something. But I definitely don't think it's a pay to win game. You need a lot of understanding of the mechanics of the game. Really a lot of understanding is needed what you can kill and what you can't kill. There's a lot of counters to what you can buy with uh, real money as well. And you can uh, also, there's everything that you can like potentially get with real money. You can also get it with in-game money. It's not like, oh, the people who pay real money are going to get something that the people who are not paying like real money to buy these plexes can get as well. Only thing I would consider is Omega, but that's what everyone has to do. Um, then also the, you need a lot of skill points skill points not easily acquired it's not like just okay i buy the ship and i'm suddenly really good i need to get a lot of sk skill points as well and as i said before also a lot of like in-game skills a lot of understanding of how the stuff works in the game and then there's always counters and there's always people who can group up enough and just kill you in something that is worth a lot less than what your ship is worth so all in all i don't think evil line is a pay to win game let me know in the comment section what you think below just make sure you don't argue a lot with people like i see some 
sometimes fights turning out in the comment section below between people who think a lot differently and people being quite rude to each other just please keep it quite civil guys anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later